Hi guys, I've had a few people want us to do a walk around on our caravan. Um, we have our 2022 Paramount Tough Mudder 22 foot six. I'll do an inside walk around and what we've optioned and a few bits and pieces in a moment. Now, our layout is very unique. Um, our daughter is in a wheelchair. Um, so we chose the Paramount Tough Mudder because we could customize the design. Um, and also with the flat floor, it allowed us to do quite a few different things in it. So this is the toy hauler, um, not set up as a toy hauler, it's set up as a family van with our daughter in the wheelchair. So I'll give you a quick internal run around. As I said, it's a very different layout. Um, this layout gives us heaps of room and I'll give you a quick tour of it. Okay guys, so here it is as you enter the front door of the van. On the left, have our east-west bed set up. We went that way because it gives us a bit more room. Even though it is a big van, it does give us a lot more room. You can see on the left there, full height, hang space, a couple of drawers under there. So our two monitor. Our bin, we've actually velcroed that to the wall. That's the best thing we've ever done. It's an awesome spot for the bin. bin. Obviously, we've got a big open wall there. So we'll hang some stuff on there with some hooks and bits and pieces. Sirocco fan for the double bed. Um, TV bracket, TV sockets. Overhead cabinets above the bed with a handle underneath. They're all fantastic, work well. PowerPoints, reading lamps, the touch buttons and everything, all that sort of stuff. All the bits you expect in a normal van. Um, shelves, drawers, drawers, 224 litre Dometic compressor fridge. Storage above up there. The air fryer and kettle toaster up in there. Um, this is our power management system. All in there, inverter controls. And this one, I think we've just got general bits and pieces, first aid kit, power points once again, Thetford grill combo, three gas, one electric. This is all pretty typical stuff of a van, nothing special there. Uh, all drawers on that side. Switch to the other side as you walk in, protector power management system with light switches there, a couple of pockets there, trim a gas heater, and I'll run through the accessories and stuff a bit later. Um, drawers, drawers, cabinet. As you can see, we've got lots of drawers. Four kilo washing machine. Um, normal stone, didn't go back, pack nothing like that. Stainless steel sink, storage cabinet, microwave, radio, Dometic Harry R. Sorry guys, this is a really quick run through just to give you an idea of our layout. Full pull out pantry, this is absolutely fantastic. It's absolutely great. We love that. Next to the pantry is this big opening here, which is, that is our ramp. So we can bring our daughter in and out in the wheelchair. We actually use it as a table a fair bit too. I'll run you through that a bit more on the outside video. So this is just a quick video to give you an idea of our layout. Stand back here to get a bit more of an idea. You can see there's a massive amount of room, massive amount of room. And I'll run you through the way, I know people have seen photos of it. They go to us, well, where's your table and chairs? Where do you sit? I'll go through that with you in a minute. Double bunk. Windows, Sirocco fans, USBs, reading lamps, all that stuff you'd expect in a van. There is a drawer under the bed and there's also an outside tunnel boot under there. Um, we've got a ladder that we obviously put up and down to get up from the top bunk. So that's the area. That area is quite large. Um, it's about 1.3, 1.4 metres wide. So it's quite a big area. Now our bathroom's a bit bigger than normal too. Um, it's allowed us to be able to push our daughter in and out in her commode. Um, and be able to use a shower and toilet. So we've got overhead cabinetry there, no cabinetry down there, and that's because we need to be able to get in and swing the chair around or be able to get around her and help her in the bathroom. We actually put a laundry basket there. Um, shaving cabinet and sink. Normal old toilet, a couple of towel rails. Now, this, as I said, this is actually a very big bathroom. The shower is 1.2 meters, so it's a huge shower. Look at it this way, heaps of room. So have a quick chat about our Kamek four kilo washing machine. Now a lot of people say you don't need them. Um, a lot of people say they swear by them. And four kilos is a big machine, and don't get me wrong, it's heavy, but we've got a lot of space in this van. 
and this machine has been fantastic, especially when you're in caravan parks uh, and you've got power and water hookup. Um, you do a load every day, keep it on top of your washing. There's not a massive pile when you get home. So honestly, we would not be without a washing machine after having one. Um, the washing machine's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. We also optioned up for the Truma gas heater rather than a diesel heater because um, we don't carry diesel, we tow with a petrol car. So that's why we've gone for Truma gas heater. That is under the bed as well as the, the hot water system. And that's been absolutely fantastic. So we've got the Dometic compressor fridge. Worthwhile upgrade if you don't get one, you're mad. Or, don't, or just three-way fridges, I just don't see the point in them anymore. And you don't need a shit hot $15,000 lithium system to run them. Um, we optioned a couple of Sirocco fans there. Optioned a few other bits and pieces. We've got the NEC microwave. Plateless one. That's fantastic. We did option up a few bits and pieces. I don't have the full list in front of me, so I'm just doing a quick walkthrough for you. Typical roof hatches. The other thing we did option up was we optioned up to the Dometic Harrier aircon so we can use it off grid. So we've got on this van, we've got 600 watts of solar, we've got 220 litres of water, and 110 litres of grey water. Um, we've got the projector management system, which is fantastic. The water level thing's fine. We haven't had an issue with it. So the rest of the management system's up here. And we've also got the projector 2000 watt inverter. Um, we ordered the van with 220 amp hour AGMs, calciums, um, because I was going to put lithium in it. I've now replaced them with a 300 amp hour lithium battery, an ATG lithium. And we've got an inverter underneath the sink there. Um, off the inverter, the only we can run pretty much everything in the van off the 2000 watt inverter, including the aircon. Um, and the 300 amp hours of battery is heaps. We haven't had it under 80% yet. Um, that's using the aircon, the microwave. Um, the batteries, the batteries are plenty. We haven't used the washing machine off grid and probably won't because you're on water restrictions. So unless you're off power but have water, you wouldn't really use that. But as you can see, that's the inside of our van. Now, with the table and chairs, people say, oh, you don't have a table and chairs. We don't because we eat outside a lot and we don't need one inside. To us, it was more important to have the room in the van rather than a table and chairs. Now, if you do, the top bunk does fold up. That does fold up. It is a bit of a mission um, and we don't do it, but it does fold up. And what we've got is this little fold up table. We sit here, the kids sit on the bottom bunk. We sit on a, um, a bench seat there and we can eat at the table if we need to if it's shitty outside. So it's not to be on indoor for us. We can sit inside and play cards. We can sit on the bed, play cards, whatever we need to. It's not the end of the world. This room here is worth more to us than having a table and chairs. Um, we've had the van now oh, three months. Um, and we've probably spent a month in it. And I'm pretty happy. We haven't had any issues with it. Um, everything's been good. Everything works. We've done probably a couple of thousand Ks in it. Had no problems. Yeah, definitely a good van. De they're definitely, look, they're not the cheapest van on the market, but you get what you pay for, guys. And, and the fact that they'll customise the van to how you want it is fantastic. And that's what suited us. So there it is. There's our 2022 Paramount Tough Mudder inside video. So it's a quick one, guys. I'll give you a through a few more run-throughs on other bits and pieces later and an outside one as well. Thanks.